Hi everyone at home or wherever you happen to be. I am of course Miss Jamie and this is another Art Explorations for Kids. So today we're going to talk about abstract painting and drawing. Uh, abstract is when you not necessarily base something off of real life, you can, but you put a twist to it. Abstract is something that is non-subjective. So what I mean by that is whereas a painter might do a drawing of a person and make it look realistic like a photo, an abstract painter might take the different elements of a person, their features, and exaggerate them, uh, do something completely different with them, or an abstract painter may not paint that person at all. They may do splatters on a, a canvas. And uh, artists such as Picasso and Kandinsky are examples of this. And we're going to do today just a take on um, their technique, their style, and we're going to create a self-portrait. So, let's get started using our Jumbo Jet black pencil. So, we're going to create a big U for the head. Remember, you want to do this lightly. We're going to come back over it with marker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cross on this U. And then I'm going to start working on our nose here. So we have the center line. And on either side, I'm going to bring a line down. You can see it's the same height from here to here, this cross section, and then from here to here. And then I'm going to join these two lines with a curve. And then we have our nostrils on the sides. We can't forget about that. So I'm going to create those off on the sides here, just these two little half circles. And now we're going to go in and add our eyes. So right here, we know our eyes are not perfectly round. They're kind of a, a little bit of an almond shape. So we're going to create a curved line under for the under part of the eye. And then we're going to bring a curved part over and attach it to this side of the nose. But then we're going to come under and create our eyelid just mimicking that top line. And then we're going to do the same thing over here and create our other eye. So under curve here, the under part of the eye, over curve, and the eyelid. We don't want to forget the center, so add in our circles for our pupils. Okay, now we're going to go in and add some lips. So we're going to create a curve up and down right into that middle line here. And repeat that shape over here. And then we're going to come along and create this curve under the mouth here. Like so. And go like straight across here for the lip, for the middle of our lip. Now you can see this is looking like a person, but it is not photorealistic. We're having fun with it. We're using different shapes, lots of different geome uh, geometrical shapes here to create an abstract portrait of ourselves. So now we're going to go ahead and add in the ears. sides here. Create a C shape. 
and another C shape. And now here's where it can get a little bit tricky. I want you to create the shape of your hair. And mine comes down here, and it falls on my shoulders here. So I'm simply going to create this curve over to the side of my head and stop it. Create another curve over to the side of my head and stop where the side of my head here falls. And then I'm going to come to the top of my head here, and pull my hair down, it comes down long and rests here on my shoulder. And I have some more examples drawn out for hair shapes that you may have or that you may want to use um, as reference. And you may have long hair like me, but you might wear your hair in pigtails, or you might have it behind your shoulders. So remember, this doesn't have to look at all like mine. This is you. So I'm going to come in. We're going to draw our neck curving down. And then our shoulders off to the sides here. Remember, your shoulders are not straight. We want to create a little bit of a curve. Accentuate this shoulder socket right here. And I'm going to come in and add the collar of my shirt. And here's where you can do a fun pattern if you'd like in your shirt. Um, I'm going to do stripes. Maybe you want to do polka dots. Uh, zigzags. We're going to color this in, so just um, think about that as you're picking your pattern. I'm just going to create some large stripes here. Okay, and now we're done. Uh, putting in our guidelines and we can go ahead and finalize it with marker and I'm going to do purple over my lines and you can pick whatever color you like um, completely up to you so we're gonna go over our most important lines our cross line in here we do not want to um, outline because that was just a guideline and we're going to erase that once we finish coloring in with our marker. We're just going to go in and erase those extra lines that we don't need. Starting with that cross mark on the center of the face that we created as a guideline to create our facial features.
So now we can take our paper with these eraser shavings and just tap it gently and get that excess off and just gently brush whatever might be left off our page and get whatever extra lines you may have missed. Now that I'm done outlining my uh, drawing, I just want to point out that um, now would be an excellent time for you to add in extra elements that are unique and special to you, whether you have freckles, uh, ear piercings, um, maybe there's a special necklace that you like to wear. You can go ahead and add those to your drawing now, um, but this is, I'm happy with how I have mine, so I'm going to go ahead and start coloring right now. And I'm going to pull out the Cezanne colored pencils to do this because we get to work with so many colors. All right, so what I'm going to challenge you guys at home to do is to take every single section and do a completely different color. So I think I'm going to start off with one of my favorite colors, purple. And notice how I am holding the pencil. I have it at an angle like this, as opposed to straight up and down. And by having it at an angle, you can see here that I can use the full side of the lead and cover a larger area um, with my, my pencil here. And remember to go in the same direction, just like a, a professional artist would, to keep keep everything nice and neat while trying to color in um, a full uh, section of one plane of color. I think I'm gonna do every other stripe with this purple. Remember, you don't have to press too hard, but if you press too light, your color may not show up very bright. You want to try to apply even pressure when you're pressing down on your pencil. And you also don't want to press too hard or you'll break your pencil, and then you'll just be sharpening, resharpening, resharpening, and you'll never get to draw. Now I know I said to that the challenge was to color each individual section a different color, but if you have something in your drawing like a pattern that you want to accentuate like I do with my shirt, it's perfectly okay if you want to alternate the colors and um, get a, a specific look. Like say if you have a favorite shirt that looks like this. Go ahead and use the colors that you want, but for the majority of the drawing, I want you to try to use different colors in each section. Notice when you're coloring in and you're going in the same direction, sometimes you don't quite make it to the edge. You'll have a little bit of white between where you're coloring and where your marker lines are. You can just go ahead and uh, color in along that same 
uh, either the curvature of the line, the side of the line, and just fill in that white so that way you don't have to stress so much making these lines back and forth and worrying about um, having that extra white on your paper and not being able to fill it in as smoothly as you might like. And actually, as you're coloring in, if there's something you see that you want to change and go back in and add some extra lines, that's perfectly all right, too. Like I just realized that I would like to have my face split up a little bit more, so I have two more sections of color to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring a line here down the middle, right between the lips. So now I've created... Uh, two more sections for me to add some bright colors. I'm gonna go ahead and add some orange over here. So now we have our uh, completely colored in self-portrait and if you are happy with it where it is, then thank you so much for following along with me and I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to check out uh, artists such as Kandinsky and Picasso. However, if you would like to keep going and add some more detail and fill in the background of your picture, then just hang on a second and we'll keep going. Okay, so we're back and we're going to start adding more detail to 
our picture here. We have our abstract self-portrait, but maybe one we want to put more abstract imagery in the back. And this is going to be almost completely up to you. We're going to break apart what white space we have left with different fun shapes and colors. And um, I'm going to put up on the screen some ideas of uh, different patterns and things you might want to use. And of course, you can follow along with me at home. Um, but let's just get started and really personalize our abstract self-portrait. So I'm just going to start off by breaking apart my background with different squiggles and, and lines, kind of like um, we've already done here in our self-portrait. So I think I do a wavy line here, straight line. I'll do another wavy line, zigzag, straight line. I do a triangle. I do another triangle over here. Maybe another zigzag. Okay, so now I have my background separated out. And I think I'm going to add just a few swirls in some of these areas just to give a little bit more character to some of these spaces. And then once I have um, some swirls in there for uh, texture and pattern, then I'm going to go ahead and color in and we'll have a finished abstract piece. Of course, yours doesn't have to be like mine at all. I decided to go, um, I decided to use swirls because I just really like swirls. And I thought they might be nice in this picture. Let's see. I'll add some up here. Go ahead and pick out my colors to fill in the different segments. And you don't have to fill this in in any particular order. If you're looking at all those colors, in your color pencil set and a color jumps out at you and you pick it up you decide you want to uh, color with it on like I did the bottom left of my picture and then use it over on the right or another color jumps out at you and you want to use it just back and forth all over the place then go ahead you don't have to color in each individual segment all the way around in order can do it as uh, you can do you can color it in in whatever way makes you happy
right, and I am happy with uh, the background I created, so I think I'm going to call this piece done. I hope you have enjoyed this project. I have enjoyed so much going uh, through this abstract piece with you. And don't forget to check out other great abstract artists such as Kandinsky and Picasso. And um, maybe get some more inspiration for future abstract drawings you might like to do. So this wraps up another Art Explorations for Kids. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.